Welcome to my home power station. This is my garage, and on top of my house, we have 28 solar panels. On a good day, it can generate as much as 80 kilowatt hours of power, enough for me to drive an electric car, say 500 kilometers or 300 miles. It's also really enough for us to keep the lights on for several days. But as the sun goes, the sky isn't always blue and the sun doesn't always shine. So this is my home battery, the Huawei Luna. It helps me keep the lights on and lower my cost of energy. And it's just an added level of security to our home electricity installation. But there's a new version of this battery available now. So let's go check it out. Welcome to Totally Electric, where I test drive electric cars and talk about sustainable mobility here from sunny Spain. And today we're going to talk about how to offset your energy bill using a home residential battery. The battery consists of one, two, three modules placed on top of each other. Each module can store up to 6.9 kilowatt hours of energy. So with two modules, you get 13.8 kilowatt hours of battery power. And with three, you get a whopping 20.7 kilowatt hours. On top of the battery, there's a control module, which is the same no matter how many battery modules you've stacked. When used together with a solar panel installation, it can significantly lower the cost of energy during peak costs, like for example, dusk or dawn when the sun is not up, and it can reduce the cost of peak hours, say during the day. The battery can charge and discharge each module at 3.5 kilowatts, meaning that if you've got three modules in a single battery, you can spot up to 10.5 kilowatts of maximum power. The battery is slightly larger than the previous version, though it should still fit easily in most homes. It's only 59 centimeters wide and approximately 25 centimeters deep. Height, of course, depends on how many modules you've installed. One more thing I'd like to highlight here is that the battery is super solid. I actually saw a demonstration of it being crushed by five tons of force without it being damaged at all. But more about that later when we talk about security. How long a lifetime can we get out of a battery like this? We have 15 years warranty. 15 years of warranty? Yeah, each pack you can, during the 15 years, you can get 28 megawatt hour. I was fortunate enough to go and see the presentation of this uh, battery in person in Vienna, where Huawei showed us some of the benefits and let us have a play with uh, you know, the components of the system. The purpose of the visit was to show off the added value of the Luna S1 battery solution. By the way, did you know that it's called the Luna because it works when the sun doesn't shine on your solar panels? Clever, isn't it? The operating temperature is from minus 20 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius. How have you achieved this? Because I know that competitors have a lower range of temperatures. We designed an intelligent heater control inside of the pack. Actually, there are two heaters in our battery pack, which protects the battery cells. And our BMS can intelligent control this heater. So you have a full battery management system with the active heating inside the batteries? Yes, correct. So let's talk about some of the active safety features in the battery. After all, this is a highly energy dense device that's going to sit inside your home. It, of course, needs to be as safe as possible. So the first thing that springs to mind is obviously a fire hazard. There's a lot of misinformation about battery fires. Electric fires are dangerous and must be avoided at all cost, but they're far from as common as some people might have you think. It's a very low probability event that a battery should catch fire, but even so, let's go through the steps Huawei has taken to make this battery as safe as possible. Like previous versions, it's made out of lithium ion phosphate. The lithium ion phosphate chemistry in the batteries is currently one of the technologies least likely to experience any kind of combustion. In fact, the individual cells used in the Huawei Luna battery can be pierced with a metal object without them catching fire. Imagine there was a traumatic accident where the battery was installed like an earthquake or somebody were to hit it at a high speed with a vehicle. The individual cells would still resist bursting into flames. Additionally, and unique to the Huawei architecture is that there's a voltage and temperature sensor attached to each single and individual cell in the battery. 
In case an extraordinary event were to set fire to the battery, there's an inbuilt fire extinguishing capability using gas that will put it out. This emergency fire suppression kit provides an additional layer of protection. So if any part of the battery were to reach, the, I think the temperature is 190 degrees Celsius, the fire extinguishing package releases a gas that absorbs free radicals. This prevents a thermal runaway. For our new S1, actually we have two important uh, uh, functions to protect a fire. And one is the uh, same as before S0. We have the exchange it, make it a fire not happen. This is the first thing. The second thing, we designed the mechanical to release the pressure. The audience cannot go inside of the battery and then make it sure don't fire in our pack. 100% measure of every sales, temperature, voltage, and, uh, and the current. On each individual cell? Yes, each of the cells. Because other solutions, they measure it on modules instead of individual cells. Yeah, this is different. Okay, so the battery won't catch fire or burn. But what about flooding or water damage? You might have the battery installed in a garage or on the ground or even outside. What would happen if there was such heavy rainfall or flooding and the battery was left underwater? So the guys at Huawei have thought about this and have certified the Luna S1 battery for IP66 Plus rating. This is the first for a residential battery and it basically means that the battery can be submerged in up to 40 centimeters of water for I think it's 72 hours and still function. In fact, during the demonstration, we saw a battery fully functional submerged in water for the entire day. Operating temperature for the Huawei S1 battery is all the way from minus 25 degrees Celsius, which is minus four degrees Fahrenheit, and all the way up to 55 degrees Celsius, which is a scorching 131 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's any colder or hotter than that where you live, consider moving. And the final and also quite important safety feature I'd like to highlight is just the physical toughness of the outer hull. The S1 battery can withstand five tons of pressure with no damage. You could imagine having this in a garage and accidentally hitting it with your car. I promise it'll be worse for the car than it is for the battery. Huawei offers up to 15 years of warranty on the S1 Luna battery. However, there can be regional variants to this policy. So double check with your installer before you take my word for it. Talking about the installer, the Luna S1 battery is meant to be easy to install. So the modules fit on top of each other like Lego and no outer cabling is necessary to connect the different modules or even the control module sitting on top. This means that it can be installed in a few minutes instead of typical minimum an hour for putting this into operation. This should be a bonus for installers and for, I guess, final pricing for the consumer. Of course, once this is installed, it all works within the Solar Fusion app on your mobile phone, together with other potential components you might have in a Huawei ecosystem. For me, this is one of the main benefits of using a Huawei-based battery. The fact that I can control everything within one single app, whether that be my battery, my solar inverters, or my electric car charger here at home. So what you have here is the full Huawei Fusion Solar solution as it's available right now. Starting, of course, with your solar panels that are controlled by Smart Module Controller. These are optimizers, ensuring that if you've got some shadowing going on on some of your solar panels, the rest of them will still have full output. The energy goes into your inverter. These inverters are new and they now go up to 10 kilowatts in single phase before they were limited to five or six kilowatts. You got the new Luna S1 battery. The smart guard is what takes over in case the grid goes offline. Emma is an intelligent communication device optimizing when you buy energy from the grid, when you store it in your battery, and when you use it. It takes into account weather forecast, current electricity prices, and it's really an AI system that optimizes your cost. In fact, the smart guard has the Emma built into it. And finally, of course, we've got the smart charger for your electric vehicle. All of this is controlled inside just one single app, which makes it much, much easier for the user in our day-to-day. So the Luna S1 battery is certainly a step up from the previous version. Of course, additional energy capacity uh, going from five to 6.9 kilowatt hours per module is something that consumers will instantly notice. But perhaps even more important than this is the power output. 
which can now go all the way up to 10.5 kilowatts if you have three, a three module battery. Whereas before it was limited to five kilowatts if you had the two or three modules. You were more limited in which appliances you could service from your residential battery, whereas 10.5 kilowatts should be plenty even for the energy hungry household. You see, having a home battery for me represents an opportunity, of course, for cost saving on your energy bill, but much more important than that, it gives me stability in case the grid goes offline and it gives me independence from fluctuating prices. In a world where there's more solar that generates low cost energy at midday and power hungry appliances and electric cars that use the energy at night, I think it's important to be able to offset your energy consumption from the time of day where you actually generate the energy. And a home battery gives you the peace of mind to be able to do just that. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it useful and informative. If you're interested in installing or learning more about Huawei residential solar power and battery solutions, I'll leave some interesting links down in the description below. And also, I'd really appreciate your comments on this video. Specifically, I would love to hear about what kind of solar installation you either currently have at home or you might be contemplating. So thank you very much for watching Totally Electric. See you again soon with more videos about sustainable energy and clean mobility. Ciao.